Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks, aka Redbeard. So today we got a review. We're gonna do a re-review. Well, I don't remember if I've done this one before. It's been a while. This is Russell's Reserve Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. Now, I picked this one up because a uh, contributor, friend of the show, Mr. Dean Daco, sent me an email uh, with a link in it for uh, Rare Bird 101 from Rare Bird, Bird blah, blah, blah. yeah, RareBird101.com. And uh, if you don't know who Rare Bird 101 is, he's a, a huge wild turkey nut. Uh, he's written a book about wild turkey, maybe like a historical book, uh, but super big into wild turkey, big on Instagram. Not sure if he's on any other social medias, but Rare Bird 101 put out a uh, an article, basically uh, giving you options instead of the for the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. So he put it out for the Wild Turkey Antique Collection, and his and I'll just I'll just name them off real quick. Uh, Wild Turkey Rare Breed uh, Rare Breed Rye, the uh, Father and Son Limited Edition, WB Saffle, and Russell Reserve uh, Single Barrel Rat. So, I'm not going to read the whole article, but basically he would say, if you can't get this, shoot for this. Like the uh, Love William, Lou, Lou, la, la, la. William LaRue Weller tried WB Saffle, which WB Saffle is a good, good bourbon, really good. Said Wild Turkey Father and Son, soars as high as Eagle Rare 17. I've had the father and son. Get out of here. I don't, I can't honestly agree with that opinion. Uh, I think the Wild Turkey or the Eagle Rare 17 is just phenomenal, at least the one that I have. Uh, I don't, I don't feel like the father and son had as much character or nuances, but I didn't try them side by side. They were two different. Two different tastings and the my palate that day could have been completely off as far as the father and son so it said uh you want a handy killer a handy killer <laughs> oh another like a good old handy uh rare breed rye for the handy killer and then last but not least no luck finding sazerac 18 pick up russell's reserve single barrel rye so dean sent me this i replied to his email but he has oh god the lawn guys are showing up next door we're gonna try to bust all through this before y'all hear mowing in the background so he said pick up the rare breed or the russell's reserve rye instead of finding the sazerac 18 and uh i'm just gonna give you a quick review and then i'm gonna tell y'all about my weekend so I, I haven't posted much i got food poisoning last thursday and i think it stemmed from that stupid chip if y'all if y'all go back and watch the Pocky One Chip Challenge, I think that damaged my stomach, and then I ate wings, some hot wings, uh, about two weeks later, and just full blown food poisoning, violently, violently purging my system from both ends. That's pretty damn tasty. I mean, I, I, I've already got into half of it, but it's not fucking Bonnie. She's like, I said, come on outside, Bonnie. She's like, no, I'm gonna stay inside. Now I'm gonna bark at you because you're. I hear you talking out there, and I don't know who you're talking to, and I want to get out there and get in your conversation, <laughs> bitch. So this is not like a. I know I've stated in the past that I more or less prefer a rye that is more like a super high rye bourbon. I don't feel like this one is, and it very well could be in the mash bill, but it doesn't drink like it. It drinks like it's a rye whiskey that has sweet notes to it. So 
it's got some really nice depth and some nuances to it for from what his article says only about six to eight years old fuck off fly so I can't say it's going to be better than Sazerac 18 but I will say that for the availability and the price I would probably pick this over Sazerac like if I had to I mean Sazerac 18 is going to be a hundred plus hundred fifty dollar bottle retail and these are on the shelf at 60 ish plus it's a 104 proof where Sazerac's only like 90 I think so I think that's what I read um, yeah you, you tend to get into the buyer's remorse area whenever you spend that much money which I might have that here pretty soon hopefully <laughs> I ended up picking up a bottle of Yellowstone 101 and then I watched a review on it something that is uncharacteristic of me watch somebody's review on it and I was like ah shit did I just waste 120 bucks I didn't get last year's because of that but <sighs> looks like everybody's starting up their engines but uh, do I think it's a good replacement I think so for the price and the availability I think if you can't pick up a Sazerac 18 this is probably a good option Mm -hmm. yeah it's got fuck got a lot of the rock character but there's some bourbon hiding in there so anyway I'll uh, I'll tell you all about anyway fuck. so I got the food poisoning I'll try to make this short and sweet got the food poisoning Thursday night and for about six hours I purged my system violently violently fast forward Friday uh, tried to rehydrate as much as possible Saturday we had a big arm wrestling tournament here in East Texas and we had uh, 100 plus competitors show up bro trying to record a video here there's no reason for you to back up that far that's my fucking yard oh, you fucking asshole I just sit there. I just fucking sit there. He's just fucking sitting there. Douchebag. Anyway, he doesn't know I'm, over, I'm over here. There we go. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate that, buddy. Take your time. But you know she's dead, right? I think my neighbor passed away a few weeks ago. That was horribly insensitive. She was a sweet lady. God rest her soul. Cheers to you. So anyway, food poisoning, dehydration, arm wrestling Saturday. Very first match, left hand, we lock up, power into it, everything's good, feels good, and then my left shoulder goes clunk, 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 clunk. Oh, God. Fucking hurt so bad. I didn't tear anything, but it definitely caused some damage. So now we got to rehab the shoulder. Anyway, that's why I hadn't been posting in the last week. But that's all I got. Uh, Russell's Reserve Single Barrel Rye. It's good juice. Check it out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for Dean's for sending me the info. I uh, appreciate it. He's donated a lot in the past. Uh, he's a big time contributor. Appreciate everything he's done. I tried to share stuff with him in the past. I need to send him a care package. It's been a while. But. Thanks to everybody for sticking around. Apologies for not posting as much lately. Uh, I don't have much of an excuse other than being poor. <laughs> but we're going to try to keep going, try to stay motivated, and uh, keep at it. But Thanks for watching. Like always, drink some whiskey, share it with your friends and family. Check the description below for all the ways to help out with the bills around the house. Like the video, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications if you want to stay up to date on what I'm posting. Thanks, bro. Hey, why don't you hit my yard, too? Mow my yard while you're at it. Thanks for watching. Like always, drink some whiskey, share it with your friends and family. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. Take care. We'll see you next time.
Cheers.